Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I am back with another Inktober video. And today's word was run. Now, I originally wanted to do Sonic the Hedgehog from, you know, Nintendo Sonic the Hedgehog. We all know what he does best, and that's run. And I didn't want to do the Flash again. And I even thought about doing, like, Kid Flash, Wally, from CW's version. So, Wally from CW. Because, honestly, I love the Young Justice League, but <laughs> I feel like CW Flash is the only Flash that matters for me. Anyways, we're here today to talk about Cinderella, Cinderella. The reason why I picked Cinderella was because I saw a pin on Pinterest. I know a lot of you know that I have a Pinterest that I get most of my doodle inspirations from. Most of them are either I'm looking at the techniques or I'm looking at whatever. I don't know. I'm just looking at different styles of animation or images or stills from Disney movies that I want to draw in the future. But I saw a picture of Cinderella running away from the glass slipper and I thought, oh, well, this is the perfect thing for Run because she was running because it was midnight and she was going to turn back into her scullery maid self. So let's talk about the interesting thing that I found out about the pearlescent inks. Um, they don't really like to layer, and you guys know that I'm a huge fan of layers on top of layers on top of layers, especially when it comes to watercolor. And I was trying to add layers to my pearlescent ink on top of Cinderella's dress to give it more contrast and shadows, and it wasn't working. So that's why I jumped in with my black Bombay ink, and I just added shadows that way as soon as the pearlescent ink was dry. I don't know why the pearlescent ink wasn't layering. Maybe it's because it has so much minerals in it to make it sparkle and shine, but I didn't really want to kill it by adding a ton of shadows to it because I still wanted it to be super shiny because this ink is beautiful to work with in real life. So yeah, that's why I decided to actually, instead of keep layering and lining it, um, I actually did use a fine liner. Instead, I stopped at as many layers of shadows that you see on her dress right now. I stopped there and I went ahead and I used a 05 fine liner by Pigma and I went ahead and I just defined the folds in her dress a little bit more and outlined her and then I also used I love using cross hatching. Anytime I can use cross hatching somewhere, I absolutely want to use cross hatching on Cinderella's skin and her hair. So that's what I used on that. And I have actually drawn Cinderella before for Inktober, but it wasn't for Inktober. It was for just October in general. It wasn't even October. I think it was like September because Pumpkin Spice Latte was released and I did a little doodle of Cinderella holding a Pumpkin Spice Latte in her hands like it was the glass slipper. So I actually have drawn Cinderella before, but I used my cross hatching on that and it's just like, it's amazing. I should do a Transformation Tuesday on on this Tuesday, or uh, next Tuesday or something, because Tuesday was yesterday, but I should do a Transformation Tuesday because it's just so cool because I found it, and you could see the definite difference in how many, like, the difference between this Cinderella and the other Cinderella, how much I've improved, and that's why I say always keep all your sketchbooks or your sketches or your final pieces of anything even if you hate it it's always nice to look at them and come back to them a, le a year later and go like oh wait ah now i know why i practice every single day <laughs> it's really rewarding to see your old sketches and see how much you have improved but yeah i'll have to post that on instagram today even though it's like wednesday i should just post it on instagram just to show like the difference of inktobers and participating how much i have grown as an artist so if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you go and follow me on instagram because i will definitely have to show you guys that transformation from cinderella to cinderella i will see you guys tomorrow have a wonderful day bye